We have a carrier air handler here from 2011. No indoor blower motor. Screw missing there. Condenser was running, so the system's been freezing. Ah, they put the screw here. Yeah, we have another hung unit here. Hanging from strapping. Yep, good old X13 fan motor. I can hear that module making noise. Two is medium, three is high, four is electric heat, so they got this thing on the wrong setting. blue wire is going to be our signal all right we're looking for 240 Between here and here, we have it. And in between There we go. Common. To blue, we should have 24 volts. And we do. So we have a bad motor. I'm going to go talk to the customer. This unit's in pretty rough shape. Uh, it's a copper coil. So let me go talk to her before we uh, start pulling this out. All right, guys, I think this one is going to end with a equipment change out. Due to the overall condition of the system, I just got done speaking with the customer. I even uh, brought her up here and let her look at it. And she did not like what she saw. So, probably going to change this one out. And we're definitely not going to hang it. Yeah, I mean, look, even the screws are stripped out in the panel. Man, oh. Okay, that one took. That one stripped out. All right, so Let's 
see if I can drill a new hole. <laughs> a little tighter but I, I left the power off because uh she told me not to replace the motor she told me to work her up some quotes on a i gave her a quote on the motor but uh i think the outdoor fan motor is the bearings are going out on it it looked like it was a little tight when i killed the disconnect uh when i killed the disconnect the fan stopped pretty abruptly, like like the bearings were really tight in the outdoor motor. So if she ends up needing a blower motor and an outdoor fan motor with the condition of this thing, it's just not worth it. And then I don't see any reason you can't drop a deck. Yeah, I'll just bring in, I'll get another piece of plywood and uh, drop a deck that's an 18 inch return duct over there we need a squared around or a really short plenum and i'm gonna go back with an icp so it'll be a that that supply plenum will fit that supply plenum right there will fit because i'm gonna go back with another icp <laughs> This looks like a 17-inch uh, air handler to me. All right. We'll see what she decides to do. I already gave her a quote on the motor. I'm about to go give her a quote on the new system. I'll let you guys know what she decides to do. Okay, so here's the condenser. Her disconnect is falling off the wall, which I can fix that. I just need a screw right here. Looks like a, a screw may have broke off. I'll fix that. And uh, I can reuse that whip. It just needs to be fixed right here. It's like they put this too tight. So I'll fix that. But right now... I want to check these bearings on this uh on this motor the 13 sear two and a half ton I'm going to bump it up to a 3 No? Oh, yeah. There's a lot of slack in that shaft. There's slack. I mean, it's not out. It's still running. But it doesn't have a lot of life left in it. There's a point where you have to look and see, is it better to repair the unit or is it better to replace it? You know? Um, one of those things the data tag let's see if I can even see it yeah I can see it okay so if she decides If she decides to go uh, repair, she might as well put an outdoor fan motor. So I have to write up a quote for 
an outdoor fan motor uh fix the disconnect which that's going to get done either way outdoor fan motor fix disconnect indoor fan motor or blower motor i should say so to me it's not worth it i mean you might as well just put a new system and get yourself a warranty but we'll see what she wants to do hey guys back at the house uh it's uh later in the evening and i just wanted to give you guys an update about this lady she's single so she turns to uh her father for you know advice and stuff like that and when i gave her the quotes she uh she told me she goes you know i think the smart idea is to replace and uh but i want to talk to my father and i said i understand you know she's a single woman so she did that and her father agreed that replacing was the way to go but he suggested her to get another quote i'm fine with that i, I you know if people want to get a second quote I, that doesn't bother me um you know it is what it is if she, if she find i mean i was referred to her by another customer actually two other customers referred me to her so when her dad told her that she told her father she said I was referred to this guy by two people and his reviews online are wonderful and you know, blah, blah, blah. And her dad said, I understand, but her dad told her it's always smart to get a second quote just to compare. I already gave her two quotes on a, I gave her one on a 14 and one on a 16. So, uh, but again, more power to her. They're supposed to come out and give a quote tomorrow. I think she called one of the larger companies with salesmen, so I should be okay. She definitely wants me to do the job. She said, even if you are just a little more expensive, I'm still going to go with you. She goes, you know, their quote would have to be like drastically lower, which the way she talked, she said, yeah, they're sending someone out to give me a quote tomorrow. So by her using, you know, the words, they, they're sending someone out, I'm thinking she called a larger company with a salesman, so... Hopefully I'll be in good shape and we'll get the job. And if we don't get the job, then it just wasn't meant to be. Uh, a smart businessman once I heard him say, he didn't say it directly to me, but I heard him say one time, if you get every job you bid or you quote, you're too cheap. Again, he said, if, you, if you're landing or getting every job that you quote or bid out, you're too cheap. So if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. And if I get the job, I'll update you guys. But I just wanted to let you guys know. Hey, thanks for watching, y'all. I appreciate all the support. We'll see you guys on the next one.